today I am prepared. Although today my corner is not cold. I can't win. Let's take the hat off then at least. So today is Vlogmas Day 21. Happy Solstice, Happy Yule. And Vastmas Day 10. So on the 10th day of Vastmas, Visionary Destroyer gave to me a complicated narrative thing. That didn't scan right. Do I care? No. But the, the thing is, is that, and I mentioned this a couple of days, a couple of vlogs ago, days ago, same diff. This is not pre-recorded. I, 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 ha I had mentioned that I was going to, like, <sighs> problematize the notion of hero and shift over into protagonist. And I said I would explain why. The, the short explanation is that I grew up reading Greek mythology, so hero has a very singular meaning. And I don't mean like, you know, little kid... Okay, it was the kids' book of Greek mythology was my, my first Greek mythology book. It, 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 it was not pulling its punches on the fact that Hercules was a boar and that Zeus desperately needed therapy and that Hera needed anger management and that everybody was either really not thinking to their fullest potential or just being spiteful and vindictive. That, that, that kind of causes you to have different requirements of what you consider heroic. And it also doesn't help that all the, the heroes, heroes in narratives that I grew up reading were also deeply, deeply flawed people for a variety of reasons, or at least thought that they were deeply flawed. Yeah, I, I, I tried really hard to come up with a, with, with an unproblematized heroic figure from my childhood that I identified with and could not come up with one. It's like I was always there for Edmund in Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Vanielle from uh, the La Last of the Herald Mage trilogies is <laughs> deeply messed up. He was my first queer character in fiction, though. Alia from the Dune is all sorts of not right. And, and you know, these are the, 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 the characters that I identified with the most. Even the, the kids from It, the, the, the novel as well as the original TV movie thing, that they're all deeply problematic kids too. I could, cannot think of any pure heroes that I really enjoyed. I'm sure I could come up with something if I tried really, really, really hard really hard but I think what I've realized is that the characters who I'm most willing to see as heroic are the ones that have to work the hardest to be considered heroic which means that I'm going to pick someone like Visionary Destroyer before I pick somebody like Lucy Bard not that Lucy Bard is not a fantastically heroic person but in many ways for me she she's more like Superman it's easy to be to be to see to be seen as good with a capital good when you're a god not that lucy's a god but yet you you get the idea there's something preternaturally good about lucy despite all of her very humanness and despite all of the figuring out that the the, the paka have screwed the universe and we're going to tell everybody about it there's still something very unreasonably good about her which is kind of the joy of Amy Dallin, honestly. She is these characters because she is that good. That, that That's very much writing upon somebody you don't really know. So take that all very with a salt block or seven. And it's interesting because one of my, my my favorite quotes, I have a hand, I, many handfuls of favorite quotes, but one of my favorite quotes about being a hero or being heroic is that we are all the hero of our own story. I know it from Andromeda, which if y'all haven't watched Andromeda, maybe give it a watch. It, it's I, I'm not sure how it holds up anymore. I haven't seen it in years, and but it it, it did interesting things in interesting ways. And, and the the problem with that thought that we are all the hero of our own story 
is that that means villains are heroes in their stories too. But one of, one of my other favorite ones, and I, I don't know why I'm giving you like Reader's Digest quotations on heroism. It's like I'm the curmudgeon's guide to heroism all of a sudden. Is we, we live in the world as we think it should be rather than the way it is, which is a bad paraphrase, but it's from Angel. So I guess what I'm, I'm getting down to is that my favorite protagonists of a heroic bent are going to be the ones who are the most problematic. They're going to be Visionary Destroyer. They're going to be... There's something so pure about Merza. Mer Mer Merza's prob problematic heroicness comes from their connection to Visionary Destroyer. Somewhat, mostly. It's going to be people like Kraya. And it's going to be people like Rake, honestly. And, you know, th th there, there's so something terribly satisfying and humanizing and seeing our heroes fail. And it's a matter of what they do with that failure, which continues to inform whether or not we see them as heroic or if they fall into something else. Yeah, that that was, I'm, I'm not, again, I'm not sure that was a remotely coherent explanation and exploration of, of my favorite protagonist, her, heroic protagonists in Vast, but yeah, let, let, let's just leave it with the, the more likely for there to be some epic mistake being made on their part when they're trying to do to do good is probably going to, to be a reason why I like them, why I enjoy them. I've always been a proponent of the good done in the name of evil is still good and evil done in the name of good is still evil. It's too easy to justify one's actions through the notions of good and evil, of heroism and villainy. Well, it, you, met, you mentioned you mentioned Superman, and I always think of Superman too, where where you know where he basically gives up. Yeah. And you know, but I know movie Superman is different from comic book Superman. Though Amy and Talison keep talking about the the relatively new like conversation between Superman and Lois and Batman and Catwoman uh -huh. about how the the other one is is so much more than they could ever be. Right. And that's interesting. I haven't read it yet, yeah. but that's interesting. That sounded fascinating. Yeah. And all I could, can think about is that's a Superman I could get behind. Right. We want our heroes with self doubt, damn it. We, we want our heroes to actually have to do something to be considered heroes. Yeah. Rather than just having this innate thing. I'm sorry that you're getting a side conversation over here. And Gnome is not feeling well, so sorry about the coughing. Those are my very disorganized thoughts about protagonists and heroes and heroism and where they sit in vast and how I have evidently not resolved a single thing in sitting here talking to the camera. So good on me, on trend, on brand. It's good to know that I am consistent in my inconsistencies. I'm going to go and, and I also feel like I should mention part of the reason why the end of this has changed from just courage to this longer thing is that I, I'm having difficulties with the world because the world just continues to be a dumpster fire. So I'm trying to remind myself, as well as everybody else, to be good, be kind, and be brave. Courage. Just your off-camera.